Hey guys, good morning. How are you? I'm just setting up the rest of this. <clears throat> right, so now I can see your guys' comments. in case you would like to go and visit. Um, let's see. So we are all set. Um, today I'm going to be painting. I have not fully decided what I want to paint yet. Um, it's been kind of a mess. I actually ran out of paint last night and I didn't get a chance to um, finish um, what I wanted to work on. Um, I actually ran out of white paint. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to wait for a few people to come on since I didn't have anything actually planned. Um, I have a lot of orders to do, but you can let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I have the Grinch. We have Grinch faces. Um, I was going to paint him or We also have unicorns. Um, these are all orders, so they're things that I need to paint anyway. Let's see what else that we have. Let's see. Waiting for a few people to come on. If you are just joining, um, we're going to be painting today. I have not fully decided what I want to paint. These are the Grinch faces. Um, we have painted them before. I made a wreath with them, um, with one of them. And I'm trying to see what other options that we have. I have a lot of wood cutouts that we could be painting. Um, let's see. Um, we also have this trailer camper trailer i was going to do it in a christmas theme um, with like some christmas lights and stuff so you guys will just have to let me know which one you want to see uh, one more option good morning good morning everyone joining um so three options we could do some Unicorns um, that a customer ordered. Um, this is a unicorn face and this is a unicorn head. This is its hair, its mane. Um, we could be doing that in like pink and blues. Um, we can do some Grinches. A Christmas camper trailer. We're going to do some Christmas lights on him. Or I can even do a round Christmas um, face. Let me know what kind of face you want and we can, we can paint one. Um, so if you have a preference, let me know. If not, then I'm just going to pick one here in a couple minutes. Thanks everybody for joining. Good morning. Um, so I'm going to give it just a minute longer for someone to comment. If not, then I think that I'm just going to go ahead and do the Grinch since I did 
have those bordered so we can work on those. Are just joining make sure you say hi and let me know where you're watching from um, so I, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the Grinch and I have already painted him but I am just going to go through and um, sketch him out so that way I don't like over paint with like a dark color. Hi Madison from Georgia. It's not too far from us. I'm in Florida. Um, so I did already paint him so in case you're wondering what he looks like this is what he looked like when I painted him last time. So I'm actually going to be painting him today. I'm going to do two of them. Hi, Kim. Thanks for joining. Um, we can do the Grinch, or if you did just join, we can also, um, I think I'm just going to give you two options. So Grinch, or we can do a camper. Um, I also need to finish this truck. I ran out of paint, so I had to go to the store and buy some. So we can do the camper and a truck. Or we can do the branches. You let me know which one you want to see me paint. This is going to be a Christmas camper. It's going to have some lights on it. All right, Madison, we'll do the camper since you're already seeing um, what the Grinch looks like. I did do a wreath with him, um, the Grinch when I finished him last time, and um, he turned out so cute. Oh, no, we're at a tie. Okay, somebody else spoke, so we're not at a tie. <laughs> Hi, Tammy from South Carolina. Did you get hit by the hurricane? Um, hopefully everything went good. Um, I know that certain areas were hit pretty hard. Camper? Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stick with that. Sorry, I have not had a chance to have my coffee, so I'm trying to drink it now. Um, I'm just gonna give this one a really quick stand. Um, he is already traced out with the basic uh, outline of him. I don't know if you can see it, um, but this right here is going to be like a stream of Christmas lights that we're going to paint on him. I did do one um, for a customer that was custom with, um, I believe that she ordered it for her daughter-in-law. Um, I have their name on it. It turned out super cute. It was actually not just a sign though. She wanted it in a um, wreath right off, like one of, like one of these. How do you cut it out? The wood, um, we used to hand cut everything with um, a saw, um, but I actually have someone here in South Florida um, where I'm at, and I submit my designs, and he'll cut them for me with his CNC. So if you have any like requests, um, any special requests, then definitely let me know. That's good, Tammy. That's good. I know um, last year when we got hit with Irma, I'm in South Florida, uh, Fort Lauderdale, they expected it to hit us pretty hard, too. And thankfully, we just got a lot of wind and rain. Um, it took out my neighbor's fence because she's on the corner, so it kind of just knocked it down. Like it, The wind caught it and just blowed it, blowed it down. Um, <clears throat> but we didn't, we didn't get any damage. Um, it took out our power. We were without power for, I want to say, eight days because it took out a few poles in our neighborhood. Should be 
Edison will be here a while. So we're going to do Christmas Camper, and I'm also going to finish this one. And this is actually in order as well. So. <clears throat> if you are joining and you read the comments, if you share this video, you will be entered into a giveaway. If we can get up to 100 viewers, which I know it's early, so it might not happen on this video, but if we can get to 100 viewers, you have the option of, um, we'll pick one person who shared the video that reached 100, and you can pick one finished rethrow, trick or treat, or boo. Um, they're both super cute, so you'll get him, one of them completely free. So don't forget to share. Um, you can share multiple times. Each share is, is, a, um, is a chance. So I'm going to start off, and I think I'm going to do um, this part white, this part like a, a green color, and a door of red. They're going to be like pale colors. So we'll do the white last. Um, so I'm not really sure why I put it. So, um, in the comment at the top, I did say I would like to know what you guys um, did this week, what's something that you feel good about. Um, it's finally Friday. Um, I know Fridays are my day off, and I always get so excited because the kids are in school in the morning. Um, I'll take care. Um, but it is just a chance for me to get so much done. Lila, lay down. Okay, so we're gonna do this green. It's kind of like a, I'm not even sure what to kind of call it, like a lime um, color, like a pale lime. Lila, lay down. Yeah. In case you're wondering, she sees a lizard outside and she loves to chase them. She never catches them, but she does love to chase them. So she wants to go outside and see if she can get it. So here's one section, and I'm using pale colors because um, campers tend to not have, um, like real life campers tend to not have bright colors, they use more like neutral, um, neutral colors, so when I do it I try to, I try to do that unless it's been requested otherwise. So I did pin the Etsy page in case you are interested in checking out what we have there. Um, we do have blanks, um, so if you would like a blank, let us know. I don't know, I don't think this truck is on there, but it is on there as a, um, a wreath rail. I have to add that. Oh, 
Oh, the blank is on there. The blank is on there, but the um, the painted is not yet. So I will add him later. If you watched Trisha last night, you saw that she dipped her paintbrush into her coffee. And, or not her coffee. Um, I don't know what she's drinking, but she dipped it into her cup, and I almost just did the same thing. I was about to get really upset. Not my coffee. So I'm actually going to make it here. Yeah, I'm actually going to do this part green, too. I'm going to do the Christmas lights when I do it in bright colors just so uh, they pop out a little bit more. Do I do Disney characters? I definitely can. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, I don't think I've done any Disney characters, but I can. Um, if that's something that you'd like, we can do it. I know that I did cut a Mickey Mouse head, but I never, I think I actually sent that to Trisha, so I think she has that one. So, on the part of the camper. Uh, we did do, I did do the Grinch. I don't know if you were watching earlier, Hazel. Um, here is the Grinch that we were thinking about painting tonight. So this is one that I, I have already painted. Um, he actually went on a wreath and he went off to a new home. But we can, I have a couple more orders. So I might go live tonight. I'm going live tonight, but I might go live tonight and paint the Grinches. Um, that's in our wreath group. I'm sorry, not a wreath group. Our um, wreath sign group. So if you are interested in seeing me paint the Grinches, um, you can join the group. If Trisha is still here, I don't think she is. Um, but if she comes back, I'll see if she can comment with the link. So what is everybody's plans for this Friday? Or, well, not Friday, but the whole weekend. Uh, I have so many orders that I have to catch up on. All these are orders. I have another stack over there um, that I have to paint. And so I'm super excited about that. That kind of looks pink, so I think I'm going to be better. Um, but But, um... I forgot what my train of thought. But yeah, I'm super excited to have all the orders. Um, keep them coming, guys. I could have gotten so much more done last night, but I thought I had more white paint. And I was running low on a few other colors, but I was like, yeah, it's fine. I'll just work around those colors and work on signs. Um, and then I realized I had zero white paint left. So I had to go buy a whole bunch of paint this morning. So I did not get anything done last night. Sure thing, Hazel. Um, I can probably end the group now. Hold on one second. There we go. There you go. So if you want to see me go live tonight, it'll probably be around like 10, 10.30. I know that that's really late, 
Um, but if I tried to do it any sooner than that, um, it would just be a nightmare. My kids, my kids do not go to sleep early. We have tried and tried. They wake up at six in the morning to go to um, to go to daycare. Um, my oldest is in preschool, um, but they go to daycare preschool because my husband and I both work early and they don't the oldest doesn't take naps the little one does sometimes but they are up until like 10 30 like 10 10 30 and it drives me crazy especially since i wake up at three in the morning i go to work from five i go to work at five i have to be there at five so i wake up really early because i have to get them ready for the day. And it is just the worst. Here we have the door. I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to put like a gray window there and a handle, but we have to let that fully dry. So I don't want to add any white to this one until these colors are dry. So I'm going to hop onto the truck. If you do watch me um, often, you do notice that I like to do at least two signs at the same time. Just so that way I don't have to wait for this one to dry before I can continue. I can just keep working. Um, so I haven't actually painted this one yet um, before. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do it. I know I need to do the wheels, but I think think I'm just going to keep it simple and just do like white outlines like where the pieces are and maybe add some like white snow up here like a little bit of white snow and black wheels black tires but I think I'm going to keep it simple what do you guys think If you watch me, you notice that I'm always getting covered in paint. Uh, I have paint on my arm from earlier because I was trying to catch up some. My hand was covered. This whole finger was covered in spray paint last night because I was painting some Christmas ornaments black. Um, I am working on this wreath right here. So the balls aren't um, attached yet, but they, they were green, so I kind of painted them. I don't know if you can see it, but they look a little bit like iridescent. They have, um, they were green sparkly balls, so they still kind of shimmer like a light green. I don't know. I thought it was super cute. And then I still have to like hot glue everything, but I found this at Walmart this morning. And it was like a really pretty silver, and I didn't have anything in the Halloween section to kind of put right here that would work. I just can't put a ball there. So I spray painted it black, and it's still kind of shimmery, but it is like a matte black. So I'm excited how this turned out. I'm going to finish this later. But I think this one is super cute, so this is actually going to go right here. It did not let me click the link. 
Simple? Okay, Tammy. Um, let me see. Let me try this one, Tammy. And you let me know if that one works. If it does not work, um, I'm, not, I'm sorry, Hazel. If it does not work, let me know. And um, I can private message you. The, I can invite you to the group afterwards. Yeah, but I'm super excited to have those um, ornaments turned out. I think that's probably going to be my last Halloween leaf, um, leaf, wreath um, for this year. I think he's super cute. Thanks, Tammy. I really appreciate that. You have no idea. I told Trisha a year ago. Um, if you don't know us, um, I'm Chelsea. She, uh, my co the co-owner is Trisha. And um, she has done wreaths for quite a while. Like she, she did them as like a hobby. And so last year when we like started all this out, I was like, you know what? You can do the wreaths and you know, I'll just focus on painting because I don't think I can do them. And the first few that I did were absolutely horrendous. Like, I thought they looked good when I did them, but they were awful. Like, I, I looked back at them. I found them in my closet because I actually kept kept them. And because um, they were more for practice, and they were just, they're awful. So I might deconstruct them at some point and, like, salvage the materials and maybe redo them. But they were, they were awful. Okay, I'm sorry about that, Hazel. If anybody wants to be invited to the wreath sign group, let me know, and I will private message you when the video is over um, and invite to it. I will be going live tonight, um, 10, between 10 and 10:30 um, Eastern Standard Time. I know that's late, guys. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to be doing that, and I'm going to be painting. I have two of these. Um, Grinch ones. I might also do this one. He is also a Grinch, and I love him. Um, he actually is holding a sign, and it says, go away. I, I love him. I love him so much. But it says, go away, and I'm working on a wreath for him. I just, I have it almost done. I just, I'm not happy with it, so um, I just... When I'm not happy with something, I just set it aside until I can think of how to make it how I like it. Um, so that is, he, he is currently off on the side because I don't know how, how I want him to look. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, if you are watching, um, make sure you're sharing. Um, you can share multiple times. Um, don't get spammy because then you're gonna you're gonna kind of get blocked. Facebook doesn't like that. Um, but you can share a couple times and be entered more than once. If we do reach 100, which I don't think we'll reach it in this video, um, but if we do reach 100 viewers at one time, you will get to pick out one of these finished wreath rails back here um, for free, and I will ship it to you. Thanks, Jackie. Uh, this is a, the first one that I have. I have him over here too, bigger. And I started to paint him, but I didn't like the color that I painted him. He's too dark in this one, I think. I think I like him in this one. And what do you guys think? Dark red or light red? Or bright red? But he is a wreath rail, and I was going to finish him. I... Like, my thought was to make him, like, super detailed, but I don't like this red. So I think I might do him simple, too. Um, the great thing about painting is I could just, like, give it a lot of light sand and paint over it. Um, but I'm not really a fan of this dark red. I don't think it, it suits it. I think it makes it just look dingy. I don't know. So I, again, I just didn't like him, so I set him off until I could figure out how I wanted him to look. Okay. 
I also have this one in here too. This one is a smaller one. It's it's a full rail, and he has a pumpkin right here. So I think I might paint him. I think he's a little too small to sell. So I think I am going to work on him some and make him more round because um, the oval doesn't really work out that well. But I think I'm going to paint him and finish him and then sell him, like, completely put together. I just don't think that he's that, I don't know, he's the same size, but I just don't, I just don't know how I like him being the circle this small. But anyway, back to painting. Sorry, guys, I got distracted. Thanks, Kim, for sharing. Um, we do greatly appreciate every like and share, every comment that you guys give. We get so excited. Um, for each and every one of them. All right. So I think the camper is pretty much dry, so we're gonna work on him now while I let the black dry because I don't want to get any of this black anywhere else since I'm just going to keep him simple and not um, do mostly white. I might do a little bit of black, um, like details, but not very many, so I'm gonna let him dry. Thank you, Kim. Thank you. We really do appreciate that. Um, has anybody checked? Can you click that link that is pinned for the Etsy? I know we're having trouble with the referral one. It just made me think if you guys could click the um, the Etsy one or not. It might not let you click the the um, group one because you're not members yet, and that's the only thing I can think. Thank you, Sandy. We do appreciate every like and share. Um, if you are just joining, I know I said it earlier, I will be going live um, later. If you'd like to watch that live later, let me know and I will add you to our re-signed group. I do try to go live inside the group once a week in the evening. Um, so I will be going live there and I'm going to be painting some Grinch signs. So if you want to see me paint Mr. Grinch, uh, the one thing is going to look like this. Um, this is one that I have already painted. Um, let me know, comment in here, and I will send you the group invite. The group is free. Um, you don't have to worry about that. It's just like, it's a group that we use to sell to our... Um, sell our resigns, these ones. We don't like to spam up the, um, the main page too much with our sales. So we do try to keep them, um, the page, you know, fun. Nobody likes just seeing advertisements all the time. So that is why we have the group. But we do go live in there too. Um, we have sales that are only available in the group, um, different things like that. We have contests. Um, if you make a, a wreath with one of our signs and you either go live and copy, or not copy us, but like uh, use our hashtag or tag us, um, or you post a picture and you use our hashtag, of your finished wreath, you're entered into a giveaway and you get a $25 um, gift card for Etsy shop. And we do that once a month. So 
if you are a wreath maker and you would like to take advantage of that, definitely um, let me know. But it is only if you use one of our signs. All right. So we have this part done. Shipping Sandy, when I get off of here, um, I will let you and Hazel know how to join the group. I will send you a, I think I can just add you honestly. So I will just see if I can just add you and I'll send you a message to confirm. Hi, Georgia. Some of my husband's family is actually from the UP. Um, I am from Northern Indiana, so like outside of South Bend, but that's where we are from. But I know that his um, his stepmom is from the UP. Some, and a lot of his other family, I think, is from Wisconsin. Yeah. Of course, Sandy. Which part? Which part of what, Georgia? I'm sorry. I my comments are a little bit delayed sometimes. If you're asking, like, which part of the UP they're from, I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't know. I bet Spark's going to be black, so. I will pay him black because he's a spare tire. So we are doing a giveaway. If you do share this video and we get to 100 viewers, which I'm being very honest, I don't see it happening this early in the morning. But if it does, we will give away one of these finished wreath rails. Um, they're kind of sticking together. Um, but we have this, this trick or treat one. I hope you can see very well. And we also have Mr. Boo. Um, so if you share, you can share more than you can share a few times, please don't get spammy because then it's, it's not going, Facebook is not going to like that. Um, but you can share and each share will get you an entry into it if we get to a hundred. Um, but I will be going live later. So if you want to be able to see the one later, let me know. Yeah. Sorry, Jericho. I, I have no idea. I could probably find out, um, I just, I've never asked. Um, I've never thought to ask which part. Okay. So I'm going to try to let that top part um, dry some, the white, and then we're going to put some gray up here because that's like, um, like a hatch thing. And then we're going to do a stream of... Christmas lights right here. He's going to be Christmas, and I'm going to do like a gray, like a light gray window, and we're going to write something here. I don't know what we're going to write. We'll figure it out, um, but it's going to be something. Thank you, Georgia. Um, we will be going live later, so this whole weekend we're going to try to go live a few times before Sunday night. If any of our lives hit a hundred um, viewers at one time we will be giving it away if we have more than one video that does it we'll give away more than one we will keep it rolling um what was i gonna do i have to paint the one uh the wheel um so this truck is almost dry so we will pick back up on him in just a second If you are just joining, make sure you say hi. You let me know where you're watching from. 
I find it interesting how far um, like some of you guys are from. I know like this early, we're not getting very many um, West Coast people. I've noticed like my late later lives that I do after 10, they are mostly West Coast people. So that's why I try to do one morning and one evening. So that way everybody has a chance to see it. Because like the middle of the day or like early evening just is just does not work for me. So are you guys still working on Halloween things? I have I'm working on my last Halloween wreath. I showed it just a minute ago. Um Lila, lay down. And um then I'm going to keep working on Christmas. I might do like a couple more fall things, but I think I'm really going to start focusing on Christmas. What do you guys normally do? Oh, that's really nice, Georgia. Hi, Samantha. I know that um, my grandparents, they actually have a... 1940 or a 1950 I'm not sure the exact year but they actually have a Hudson um, it's not been restored yet it's it's my grandpa's dream to restore it he actually does um he's like an like a gold star auto body technician he is almost ready to retire uh, he just doesn't want to um, but he wants to restore that and I know it's just going to turn out super cute. He, he did restore a um, Plymouth. And he painted it. Uh, he can paint, too. He's just really amazing at that. He's done auto body, I think, like, um, I want to say at least 40 years. I know it's more than that, but. So this is what we get so far. It does kind of look crude because it's not detailed out yet, but it will get there, I promise. So I'm gonna start working on this one while this one has a chance to dry. All right, so that one will kind of get detailed as well, too. So we're going to set him over here. So I did get just a little bit of green. Uh, you can't see it now, uh, but I just kind of took them off. You can't see it, but in the corner of my paint basket, I actually took a toilet paper roll and I took a pipe cleaner. So that's where I store my paintbrushes. I thought it was funny. You have to be resourceful sometimes. Uh, I might get some new white here in just a second, but I think I can make it work. Yeah. So we kind of, I asked what you guys wanted to see if you did just join. Um, we're going to make him simple um, with mostly just white. And do his details in white. Um, so we're doing the front fender.
great. So we're going to keep this going. While I'm heating this, you guys need to tell me what you want to. Yep, that just happened. That's why I wait for it to fully dry, but it's okay because that part's actually going to be painted gray, so it'll cover up really well. Um, but you need to let me know what you want to see right there, um, what you want to see written. Thank you, like Merry Christmas, but I don't want to just be boring, so if you can think of something, let me know. So now it kind of mixed in with the white. But once we get to that part, you see, you'll see that we won't be able to see it. you are wreath makers. I know a large portion of our followers are wreath makers. Um, I know there's, there's a lot of people that aren't, um, but I know the large following are. That's a good idea, Georgia. I might actually do that. You know, Georgia, I am still learning how to do wreaths too. I thought about, I can do some deco mesh wreaths. That's mostly what I've been doing. I have some up here. I don't know if you guys can. No, oh, the camera's up there. You guys can't see it. Um, I thought I could put a few up there, but it's going to be too much work. But I can do some deco mesh wreaths, but I have not actually tried a um, grapevine one yet. And I have a sign that I finished that I want to try it. So if you would like to see me to do that one go live, let me know. I'm trying to see where I put that sign. I have stuff everywhere, guys. I am a mess sometimes. Yeah, it's somewhere around here. Um, but it's a blue now. I did it in a live last week. Um, it was in the wreath group or the um, wreath sign group. But he's super cute. And um, I did one that's not painted. Um, but he's blue. He has a glittery um, snowflake right here. And his sign right here says, Let it snow. And he has glitter. He is super, super cute. And I have decided that I'm going to keep one for myself and I'm going to make a wreath with it with a grapevine. Yeah, Sandy, absolutely. Um, I mostly do it because I like it. Um, some of them turn out really bad and I don't do anything with it like I will put it aside and if I 
think that I can salvage it, then I will let it sit there until I can think of how I want, like how I can fix it um, to make it look better. Um, if not, then I will just, I will let it sit there. Sure thing, Georgia. Um, I might actually do that this weekend um, if I have time to go and get some stuff because I want to get some like cute pics and do it. I worked on this one. I don't know if you guys saw it earlier yet or not, but this is one that I'm currently working on. I know you guys probably can't see very well. It's not like completely done. You can still see the the ties, uh, but I'm working on it. The balls were actually Christmas ornaments. They're green. They're really sparkly, so you can kind of see that they're iridescent in some spots, and I love it. I spray painted them, so they're gonna be like um, glued in there. And then I, when I went to Walmart this morning, I found this. It was like a really pretty um, silver, and I spray painted it. So it's gonna go go there. So I just kind of play with it. Um, I am not an expert at all. Um, I am still learning too. But if you would like to see me, like, learn how to do a, a grapevine with me, let me know. Thanks, Georgia. I, I do appreciate that. I know that there are so many that can do it so much better and more effort, effortlessly than I can. But I am trying to learn how to do it. Um, I know that I probably can do it. It's just it's going to take some time to learn. And I'm not sure if I'm liking how this truck is turning out. So I might redo this door part. Because I feel like this part's a little off. What do you guys think? That shouldn't be there, right? You should probably sand that part off. The one that I'm working on, it has a few of them. Um, let me know if you think it needs more. I didn't get it too close because I didn't want these to fall off because they're not actually on there. Um, but it has, it has some, these are, where's my hand there? Um, these, they're dovetailed. If you think it needs more, let me know, and I will definitely put some more in there. I really like this one, that black one, but I think I ran out after I did this bow down here, too. They're super cute. I was thinking about maybe getting like one more, um, one more different kind of ribbon and doing it with the, the candy corn. Oh, okay. Um, we're getting sidetracked. That's okay. Okay. Oh, it's gone. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm liking how this truck's going to turning out, so I might redo that part. Um. Normally, I do try to look at a picture of um, whatever I'm painting, and I try to use that as like a map, like a guide, um, but we're live, so I didn't actually do that this time. So let me know what you think of this one so far. I think I am going to leave this part alone on this part, and I'm going to take off this line right here. I think I'm going to sand them off. It's a good idea, Sandy. I'll try to get ready to try. I think I have... I might use this, this ribbon. I got it from the Dollar Tree, and most of the time I think the Dollar Tree ribbon is pretty cheap. But this one I actually 
actually like. It's like a burlap, which is what those ribbons are. They're like a burlap material. And the wire is actually like really, really good on it. Um, so I might actually use this um, for something. Oh, that's the back. Um, but it's super cute. I actually really like this ribbon, and it was only a dollar. I normally don't buy it though because the, the wire is really, really um, flimsy. So it doesn't actually hold its shape. Like you can't make it stand up. I don't know. We will see. I'm so going to do the wheels and then we'll go back to the, the camper. I know that's what you guys wanted to see anyway. There's one wheel. Here's the second one. I'm going to clean up that first one and make it a little bit thicker. Um, but that is basically what it's going to look like. Me too. And when I saw it, like normally when I go to the Dollar Tree, because I do get the, um, I do like to buy these from there, but they actually are super cute. Like the, um, I can't even think what they're called, but the tubing stuff. I like to get those there. And so when I'm in that section, I will look at the ribbon, but I normally just pass it on by because it's really cheap. Uh, but they had some. Christmas burlap ones too that I might actually go and like take a look at. I wouldn't necessarily make like a full wreath with Dollar Tree um, ribbon, but I think if it's like a quality one like that, um, using it as like a supporting, like a filler. There we go. Oh, he looks so much better now that I put that white by the window. I love tubing too. Oh my goodness, I do. I haven't decided, but I think I might actually, um, I have a purple, then I might actually put purple on here too. It's, um, Really quick, really purple. It's actually there's a little bit on this one right here, uh, but it's not boring. Um, but he turned out super cute. I like him. That's not the right thing. Here we go. So I'm gonna set him aside. I'm probably gonna work on him just a little bit more. Um, so I, I think I might just take that line out. I'm not being bad. Um, so if you were watching earlier, you noticed that I got a little bit of the black right here. That's okay, because we're going to make that a gray window. You're not going to be able to see it anyway. scrolling up because when I have a comment penned it kind of just doesn't show me. It takes practice. Um, you should see some of the things that I painted last year when we first started this out. 
they weren't very good either. Um, they were not very good. So it does take time, it does take practice. So if it's something that you want to do, I don't give up on it, try it. Um, we were thinking about doing a, um, Trish and I were throwing the idea around, because um, we know that some people feel that they can't do it, and it's not that they can't, they just don't know how to. So we were throwing around the idea of having a wreath sign of the month, like, I don't know if you call it club, I don't know what you would exactly call it, um, but where you get the sign, and we would go live with them, and we would show you step by step how to paint it. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Because um, I know like most wreath makers, they're like pretty confident in the fact that they don't really want to mess around with um, making their own attachments. But I know that there are people out there that like to make wreaths and stuff just for the fun of it. And that's more like what this is geared towards. It's like every live we get, we we hear like the same thing. People wishing that they knew how to paint, and it's it's not that it's hard. It's just it takes practice. All right. So there is his window. I'm gonna do one on the door too. Um, if you can kind of see it, it's not like full. Like the window is not perfect. I mean, it's not like a solid. I don't know how to explain it. It's just kind of, I don't know if you can see it. But if you see the lines on the red door compared to the window, the door is neat. The window is not so much, and I did that on purpose. Yeah, we're thinking about it. Um, we might actually do one um, post about it later this week because that's something we were talking about the other day and um, we would paint it next week. So we'd have one on sale for like a week or two. And we we're thinking about doing like a subscription base, but I don't know if people want to do that. So we'll probably just start with the first few as like a one time thing. And if you want to continue and you guys like it, then we can do a subscription or we just send you one a month and we teach you how to paint. Right. So windows there, both of them. I am going to work on the Christmas lights after I put up the um, hatch thing right here. Forgot about the hatch. So there's the little hatch thing. You can't really see it that well, but he will get um, detailed a little bit better too. So I'm making the green that we used earlier. I just mixed a little bit of black with it because I want it to look more like a deep hunter green. Um, you know, like the um, actual Christmas lights, how they look, that green. I kind of want to make it look similar to that. And I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, I'm going to bring it on this wreath so you can see what I'm going after. Um, so I did this wreath. It's not sold yet. Um, but I painted this sign, and he is holding Christmas lights. I want the lights to look like that, and if, I don't know if you can see it very well, but his lights, um, they have white on them, and the um, cord is like a deep green. That's what I'm going for. Thank you. 
All right, so that color is almost ready. There we go. So I could have swirled it like I did the other one, um, but I'm just going to do a, a, a line. I can't think of the word. So right now I'm just doing like the um, bottom pieces of the light bulb, um, the green little piece that connects to the bulb. Uh, that is what I am doing. And I'm going to do some like, I'm not going to make the lights super tangy. So if you see like the caps are pretty good size or whatever they're called at the bottom. So the bulbs are going to be pretty good size too. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to, since I have a darker green, I'm going to give this green some detail and then um, give that a chance to dry. So what projects are you guys working on this weekend? It doesn't have to be craft related. Um, I know that my husband and I need to clean out our cars. Um, so we're probably going to go to the car wash and do both of the cars together. And so you probably can't see it very well. Uh, I'm going to go back in with white. I just wanted to give it a little bit more dimension in it. And the red door, I'm going to do the same with the red. Um, just on the outside, I'm going to mix a little bit of black with some red. So we have some.
So I'm going to do the lights now. I'm going to mix some colors. I think I'm going to stay with green and green and red. What do you guys think? Do you think I should do like the multicolored lights or stick with like the traditional green and red? Because he has this has a lot of green and red already. I'm going to do yellow and what other colors come? I don't even know. I think there's orange, yellow and orange and blue. That one stayed green and red. It's pretty green. We'll see. Normally, Trisha does try to get on here with us, um, but she is busy. She is finishing up some items for our booth at the old bag factory in Goshen. If you're local in Indiana to Goshen area, Elkhart Goshen, um, the old bag factory, and a lot of people don't know it, but it has um, vendors inside, like craft vendors. And she and I have a booth in there. So they have a sale going on this weekend. So she's there um, giving our booth a much needed um, revamp. So she's adding a lot of fall items, some Christmas items um, that she's been busy working on. So if you're local, definitely check it out. I know that there's like 7,000 people that said they're interested in going it doesn't necessarily mean that they're all going to go but it's definitely worth checking out so i decided just to do the green and red um looks like maybe it kind of just came through hi karen um we actually design and have someone cut these for us um, we used to cut them all out ourselves, but we've gotten so many orders recently that it's just, and it would just be impossible for us to keep up. So I have someone that's local here that I submit my designs to and tell them how many I need and they cut it for me. So if you're looking for something special, Karen, um, and you're having a hard time finding it, um, we do sell painted and we also sell just the cutouts um, as well. Patricia and I are working on getting our own machine. Um, it's actually cut with a CNC machine and I, we are trying so hard to get one of our own. I just don't have anywhere to put it yet. So we're hoping, hoping that soon I can move somewhere that has like a garage area and I can get our own and we can start doing so many more signs. Right. So that's pretty big that part. Um, I think it's fine. I should have probably done it a little smaller, but it's fine. Um, now we're going to work on the letters. I think we decided on Happy Holiday. So I'm going to do that. And I think I'm going to do that in, in black. 
Thanks, Karen. Um, so I'm just writing happy holidays on it. Normally I like to do like a, like a cursive, pretty cursive, but I feel like something simple would look really cute with this, this sign. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit more simple. We are almost done with this. Um, I know a lot of people have left. It does take quite a while when I do two signs, so it makes total sense. Um, but I will be doing some Grinch signs later tonight from our Great sign group. Um, so it will not be on the main page. It will be in the group. So if you are interested in seeing me do some Grinches later, um, they are going to look, um, they're going to look like this. This is what the one that I've already painted. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know and I will add you to that group. And it's a free group. Um, it's just where we like to post more of our wreath signs and stuff. Do you ever go to spell something and you're like, wait a minute, I think I'm totally spelling it wrong. I just had one of those moments with holiday and I was like, is the I before the L? And um, <laughs> I was right. I just, for some reason, like I doubted myself and I was like, oh goodness, I'm going to look like a fool on this slide. Me too, Karen. I actually have um, two different ones. So we're actually going to be painting. Um, but here is his face, like the one, um, that one that I showed you was one that I've already painted. And then I've already painted this one before too, but he's a Grinch. And, um, on the sign, it says, go away. He's super cute. I love, love, love this one. I don't think that I have been finished. No, he's on a wreath. Um, I used one of them on a wreath. That's why it is. But I'm going to paint both of those tonight. So if you want to see it, let me know, and I will add you to that group. You can always take yourself out if it's not, like, something you are interested in being in. That's just where we go live once a week. Um, it will be between, like, 10 and 10.30 Eastern Standard Time. 
we do try to go later. So like um, we have a lot of people in California, like that side that like to watch too. So we try to go later and it just works out perfect for me too. Holidays. I still have to do this part right. I almost forgot about it. I'm glad I'm not the only one, Karen. Um, and it's funny because during my day job, I am actually um, I do emails all day. Like that's my position. For I work for an online retailer, and I work as someone who responds to all the emails. And you would think that I know how to spell, especially being in that position. Um, but spell check helps. It does. Um, there's unfortunately there's not spell check for one of the signs. I remember last year I did a. Um, a St. Patrick's Day hat, wrote it out super cute. It was adorable. This the hat was, and I posted it. I had it listed, and then somebody like three weeks later was like, "Honey, you forgot the T in St. Patrick's," and I was so embarrassed. I was like, "My goodness, how many people have seen this?" And was like, "This person cannot spell." What is wrong with her? I was so embarrassed. Yeah, no, um, I think the words that get me the most is relieved, or no, not relieved, received, because I get that, I have to spell that word every day multiple times, but I always have to do I for C except after C, and I still spell it wrong. I still, still spell it wrong, but, <laughs> This is how it looks so far. No, but that St. Patrick's Day hat, like, I, I was so defeated when I saw that, and my husband just thought it was the funniest thing ever. I was so embarrassed. Like, I took down the, I took down the picture everywhere. I, like, knew that I had posted it. I was like, I can't. I can't. I can't deal with it. Things happen, though. It's funny now. I can laugh about it now. So I'm going through and I'm just giving it some little highlights on the balms, like little shiny parts. Um, and they're not all uniform, just like they're not in real life. Um, so I don't know if you can see it very well. Yeah, it was pretty fun, Karen. Karen. All right. I'm going to wait to do that one because I always start with like the most obvious piece and like a piece of part of it, like the wheel, and then I touch it and then I get the paint everywhere. So I'm going to avoid doing that and I'm just going to start up here. Try to, try to paint smart today. Normally, I'm working on like multiple at the same time. So I finished one already, but like when I finished one, I did this one earlier online. 
when I finish one, I usually grab another one and I start working on that one while this one's drying. Um, but I don't have time on this video to hop onto another one, so I'm trying to do it all, all at once. I love these little campers. I just think they're the cutest. Um, I did one for a customer, and I mentioned it earlier, but um, she ordered it for her daughter-in-law and her son, and it turned out so cute. She had their name put on it. It was pink, blue, and white, um, because her favorite color was pink, his favorite color was blue, and she's like, I don't know how to compromise, so I was like, let's do both, and it turned out super cute. I do need to paint this gray. Oh, thanks, Tasha. Um, we are painting some wreath attachments. We do a lot. Um, we will be live again. I know you're coming in at the end, but we do do lives often. I'm doing another live tonight. Um, between 10 and 10 30 is when I'm going to start it. Um, it's standard time. And um, if we get to 100 viewers, um, and you shared the video, you get entered into a um, giveaway. We're giving away either this this um, finished wreath rail or oops, or this one, Mr. Boo. Um, but we have to get to 100 um, viewers at one time. It's a lot easier in the evenings than it is in the morning. But, um, I do, Karen. Um, I use um, I use a clear enamel spray, and I spray them um, all around and around the edges, just because this paint is not waterproof. Um, if it gets wet, it'll it'll. What's the word I'm trying to think of? You'll see the watermarks in it, and then the paint will start to smear and fall off. So I do spray them. And I can tell you that the spray does work because I sprayed it and it started to sprinkle out one morning um, after I had sprayed it. Thankfully, they had dried already the spray did and they were perfectly fine. I just wiped the water off and they like it never happened. Um, so I do spray them, every one of them. Well, thanks, Tasha. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, what I was trying to say, but I know I got sidetracked, is I'm going to be going live again tonight. Um, if you would like to watch, we're doing some Grinches. I'm going to be painting some Grinches. Um, if you want to watch that, let me know and I'll add you to our wreath sign group because that is where I'm going live tonight from. Um, you don't have to stay in a group if you decide that you don't want to be there. Um, it doesn't cost anything or anything, but that is where we're going live. If you do share that video tonight and we get to 100 viewers. Um, if we get a video to go to 100 viewers at one time before the end of the weekend, we will be giving away a finished wreath rail. If we can do it more than once, um, or you know, we'll play it by ear, but there's the potential for more than one giveaway. 
We've gotten close a few times, but um, never fully to 100 viewers. I think the most we got to was 80 once, and it was so exciting. Uh, so we would love to get to 100 this weekend. Um, I, I might, we were kind of throwing the idea around of me doing a wreath this weekend. Um, I'm not a wreath maker. Like, I do make them, but, like, I'm not a, I'm not ex super experienced. Like, I'm not a professional like some guys are. Um, so, I thought about doing a grapevine, because I can kind of do the deco mesh ones. Um. Thought about doing a, a grapevine, and you guys can like learn with me, show me how to make one. Um, my button just broke, and um, <laughs> and um, I, I forgot what I was gonna say. I'm so sorry. Yeah, but the grapevine we can learn together. If you don't already know, if you do know, you can come teach me. But this is how it looks. Um, it's going to be a let it snow gnome. And I'm going, I have to go to Hobby Lobby or somewhere and get a grapevine and some cute, like, wintery picks. I'm going to use, I haven't decided which ribbons to use, but I have these. And I have this. They're all blue. The gnome, for the life of me, I don't know where I sat him. Oh, goodness, he is right here. I just remember right there. Here he is. We painted him live um, last week, and he is so cute. He has glitter right here, and you can't really see it, but his letters are glittered, and his little puff ball is glittered. Um, and um, I'm so excited to do him. And I was going to put him on a deco mesh, but I was like, you know what? He is too cute to just go on some deco mesh. He needs... He needs some um, really cute picks to go around him and a really cute bow. So I am going to attempt to do a grapevine with him. I love him. Isn't he Karen? And I did another one um, the same night in red. And I have one more that I'm going to try to do in a green. Um, they all say different things. This one says Santa stuff here. I'm not finished with this one. I do not like his hat. Um, it has glitter on it, but it just doesn't look right. So I think I'm going to do like heavy red glitter on his hat. Like, the, you can't see it. Um, but this part is also glittered. And I like that, but I don't like the red because he has a snowflake that's glittered. So I think I'm going to do like a heavy, um, a heavy red glitter. And then I have one more that I'm going to do his hat green. Um, kind of got an elf green. And his sign is going to say, um, I think I decided reindeer crossing. I think he is going to turn out so cute. Um, but I thought about selling them as like, like individually, of course, but I thought about doing like a discount if you buy all three together, like a set, because you they're big enough. These are 14 inches tall that you could add a stake and stick them into like your yard. They're sprayed. I like I sprayed them. Uh, somebody commented that I missed it. I saw a comment. Where'd it go? Oh, it was you, Karen. How did I get into painting? Um, Trisha and I, we started this about a year ago. And for like the first six months, we had no idea what we wanted to do. We knew we wanted to do it. We knew we wanted to craft. We just didn't know what we wanted to do. And so we've been like, it's been trial and error. We tried doing the door hangers and stuff, and we just didn't really enjoy it that much um, but I we love doing the wreath signs for you guys because we don't necessarily have to finish the project we paint it and you guys can turn it into something beautiful and nothing brings me more joy 
than seeing one of my pieces that I've painted on something that you've finished. It just makes me so happy. I love it. Yeah, but um, that's how we got started. So um, fun fact, I didn't used to be a painter. I used to actually hate painting in high school. Like I took a lot of art classes in high school. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to a school that had a pretty good art program. Um, the colleges in the local area actually held some of their classes after after like, normal school hours. Um, the classes, we had a ceramic studio, like a really nice ceramic studio. Um, we had photography class. We, we had a lot of classes. And... Um, I just didn't really like the painting. I didn't like painting at all. Um, it just wasn't something that came easy to me. I liked, I liked drawing. I liked ceramics. Thanks, Karen. Um, yeah, there's, there's a lot on there. We have to do a lot of work on our Etsy. We have not. It is nowhere near what it should be. Um, we have a lot of new things that are not on there that are in our group um, that we just not put on there yet. So I'm going to finish this wheel and then I think this, this cutie is done. Yes, but if you do want to watch tonight's live, um, please say so now, so that way when it's done, I can add you to um, the group. I know there's a few ladies that were on here earlier that wanted to be added, but I'm sure they have work and stuff, so they had to go. Um, Fridays are my days off from my day job, um, so that is why I come on these days. There we go, and I did some dots on his wheel. I thought that was so cute. Um, but here he is. I love him. He turned out so cute. Um, so all of our wreath signs, unless they're otherwise stated, they um, painted. They are $12 plus shipping. If you saw the truck earlier, we also do the, can do them all in a wreath rail, too, if you are a wreath maker. We can do them in a wreath rail, so don't ignore the colors in this one because I decided I didn't like the colors. So here is what I'm going to redo this one. So this is will look like this, but we can do them all in wreath rails too. But um, I know that most of you left, and that's perfectly okay. I know I've been on here quite a while. But I am going to get off of here because I have several stacks of signs that I have to get painted and mailed out tomorrow. So um, I'm going to work on that. I will be back later tonight, though. So don't forget about the giveaway. It would be... So much fun if I could give away some of these rethrills. They are spray painted um, and ready to hang. Of course, Karen, um, have a great rest of your Friday. Uh, if you're interested, we'll see you later.